think I'm safe here. I don't know. I don't know for how long. You ever get the feeling like thousands of people are watching you? Huh? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Huh? Oh no, you're on video. Yeah, let's go crazy. <laughs> She's all trying to bite his feet. We're, uh, what, Ogden? Yeah, just north of Ogden, Utah. It is Saturday, December 7th at 9.14. Alright, after 9 o'clock? Yep. Started in Ontario, Oregon. Slick spots were a uh, I-80 eastbound. Uh, Just the other side of Laramie. Yeah, Cheyenne. between Laramie and Cheyenne right now. You can see the lights coming up. We got a jackknife. You can see the road. Totally ice covered. Somebody just shit their pants. Yeah, but I almost joined that guy. Yeah. <laughs> coming off the hill here. And luckily, we were slowed down enough too, but there was a car run off the road. And a tow truck right there and stuff and yeah. slowing down but then I was laying in bed <laughs> and I was like here's you oh shit oh shit oh shit as the truck's fucking going in a V shape like, yeah Fuck. and she is just <laughs> snaking all over the road man she totally <laughs> lost it cause well, we're I empty totally lost it I kept it in my lane and I didn't hit the car off the side of the road yeah. the one in the lane next to me yeah, but, you pulled it out you pulled it out don't worry it, but I'm sitting there looking I'm laying in bed and looking out like this way out the window right here and all I see is a truck just going back and forth and I'm like, oh man. Yeah, ice is super thick right now though. Yeah. But no, don't use salt. Yeah, yeah, don't use salt, no. Yeah, the comments on the uh, Blizzard video how using salt is a horrible thing. It's yeah. like, no because it is not. Car. Yeah, because you corrode your car and yeah. stuff like that. But well, yeah, that's why you just go wash your car every once in a while. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Screw your car. But salt. Save my life. Salt, save my life. salt saves lives. Truthfully, yeah. I hear all these. A lot of these accidents could probably be avoided if they salted the roads. Now, when you get snowpack and high winds and everything, it doesn't do much. But yeah, when you got the uh, just icy roads. Like it is right now, salt would definitely save a lot of this from happening. Just my opinion. Just yep. my opinion, and based on you know experience and fact as well. Right. So. Okay. It's funny this truck is so pushing up on my ass, like because like I'm not keeping up with all those guys. There's obviously a reason why this guy is in a ditch. I mean, that, well, that, you could probably go a little bit, but. Why well, every time I accelerate, I'm sliding. Wheel spin? No, I'm just sliding across the road. Oh 
Oh my god, a swift truck. Yeah, the worst thing about all this is we're empty. Yeah. So we're out here blowing around. Empty, crosswinds, ice. Go ahead, James H. Clark. Yeah. Push it on down the road, buddy. Yeah, it just sucks for us being empty. We can't push it. I mean, you immediately start side sliding and everything. Yeah, it's like it doesn't even do wheel spin. It just starts going. Yeah. money we're making. I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. Crazy man. Crazy. So that's our uh, little adventure so far tonight. Dude, I'm shaking so uh, Adrenaline had you all jacked up. Oh, I just saw was just jackknifing right off the road. Yeah. I mean, all these dudes are probably loaded, so they're plugging on through. But yeah, we're just empty. We can't yeah. push it. it. Sucks. I bet they're all on the radio right now. Get the goddamn out of the way! Why are you, why are you going so slow? <laughs> We'll get down below this line here in a little bit. It just takes a little bit. Hey, no need to push it. No, I know. Just put your flashers on, probably, so people go around you. It sucks, but hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Right, if anything exciting happens, I guess we'll check back. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> I like a dull life. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. Out. Alright. <laughs> so it is Sunday. December 8th. December 8th. About 19.30 hours. We're back in Arthur, Illinois. Back to pick up our trailer. We're running late on this one now, too. The blizzard set us back on our last week's run. By two days. Now By two about, days. Now we're about a half a day behind. Yeah, now we've managed to get our drops off this past week and catch up some. Yeah, we would have been here a little earlier, but we had to... Uh, well, we had to get a, a PM done on the truck. We stopped off in Walcott. And your, your reset because of our... Uh, yeah, my reset. We lost about five hours waiting for my reset to finish up because if I didn't finish my reset we wouldn't have enough hours to turn this week out properly so yeah, it's better to burn those five hours of wait than to try to uh, take a 34 <laughs> yeah so now we're back I drove all day got the PM on the truck that took like two hours and 45 minutes so it just took longer than we expected but it had to be done we're already like 10,000 miles over for our dang p.m. I mean, we just had to do it so it's good times you can always put it on the uh, end right there if you want 
is flip a B and back it right in there. If it, is there room for that? Looks like it. Spot right in the middle. Think you can do it? Yeah, that's good. Put it over here. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm all jacked up. Well, it's easy enough to fix. We get a film Selena backing up. Right, Dom? Right? Just, just, I'm gonna get you. Oh, look at that. All set up. Let's watch the master do it. She don't like me watching her back up, she gets all nervous. Even now, almost four years later, she don't like it. She actually does it good all the time. It's just she gets all self-conscious, so she's nervous and everything. Especially if it's a tight spot, she don't like that. I mean, who really does, I guess? But Maybe she's just gonna do a little pull-up. Try to stay out of her way a little bit so she don't get more nervous. Dang. Go back here and get. Oh yeah, and it'll be up in the trailer too, all the way like halfway up. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put my light on my uh, camera. Be right back. So I got a drop trailer, but also I got to get a lock off the back. I got a hay hook that we use to pull the doors out with. I gotta get that out of the back. And also we got a spare piece back here. You can see their yard here field is just on the edge of fields and everything. There's houses right over here and stuff too. Arthur, Illinois. It's a really nice little town. Anybody ever uh, looking to move to a nice rural town in Illinois? Arthur, Illinois. There you go. Come on. This locks all that corroded up on me and stuff. I gotta put some, put a little grease in it. Come on, you stupid thing. There it goes. It's all rusty and everything. Back there for a sec.
Yeah, I got enough light out here. Nice though, they got these uh, steps on the backs of the trailer. It's kind of cool. So we'll head on up in here real quick. Yeah. And I got this one piece. It's been happening lately. The trailers have been really loaded. So I got a one piece that goes to a guy in Mount Vernon, Washington. I got to take that back to him. When the trailer got loaded, it got buried under some stuff behind other drops right here. I don't know if you can see this. I got my hay hook on the wall right here. Oh, you can't even see it. That is it. Yeah, pick this thing up. The way you load the doors, you, gotta, you can hook it in the straps of the doors and stuff and wedge them out. So. Pretty cool. So we'll head on out of here. Close it back up. Put that stuff in the truck. And off we will go. Let me get my lock. Get stuff. Let me get out of here. I gotta drop this trailer. Landing gears down. Come up underneath here. I can't even see nothing anyway. King pin. So we're unhooked. Heading on over to the uh, loaded side. Find our trailer. See though, it's a good size yard here. Where all these super professional drivers drive around in. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go find our trailer. Alright, so we just found our trailer. This one right here. had this pipe for like 20 years. It's always been my tire thumper. It's like an old tie down bar for like a little steak bed truck or something like that I found one day. I think in just some parking lot. I picked it up and just kept it. Go ahead and hook these puppies up. And it's off. Come on. Blue. Oh, 
plugs in. Red, there we go. Walk around, do a pre trip on the trailer real quick. Go ahead and show you all that. All right, so the brakes are pushed in, got the lights all on and everything. A little awkward, I gotta pick all my junk up. Kind of hard to hold the phone and well, latched in. Let's go take a look. See, we got good luck. Look down the length of the trailer here with the light. No broken cross members. Both landing gears are up. Let's go walk on back. Take a look underneath. Get a look at that brake pad. Looks good. Let's give these tires a thump. Lighters on them and stuff, so that's good. Come here, stuff. Around the back, check it out. Got your mud flaps. Take this on the pads. Come around the back. Get a look underneath. show the inside of the trailer for the winds really gusting out here for CHI they ask us not to show the actual load so check the paperwork yep that's our stuff yeah what a load looks like a hot mess back there So, got the lock on, got the paperwork out, check the load. load. Uh, she was whining really super bad, so. She want to come out here and take a look around? Did she, uh, did she go to the uh, restaurant? Yeah. Both? Yeah, she took a dump. She just, she just dancey. She wants to get out. Right here. There's a little cat, uh, colt. There's a colt running around out here. He lives in that little shed right there. Yeah. Again. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> so, come on over here and hit the tires real quick. That looks good. Sorry, my angles are really bad. My hands are full of stuff. Brake pads, good. Airlines, good. Lights, good. Walk around the front, check all the lights. Good. Had no air leaks or anything. Yeah, 
to take dogs out for just a sec. Walk around, check everything again. This is what we do though. Get hooked up and head right back out. You can see the farm back here. So I'll take a look at the back again though. Flashers are all going good. Lights up top good. Nice brand new trailer it looks like. Yeah. You can see the hinges and everything. They're Everything's sparkly new. Brand new mud flaps like this thing hadn't even been used barely. Which is good. I like new trailers. Yeah. So we bring them back dirty and we leave out with them clean. Yep. Yeah, I know we bring them back dirty. Now they got their own little shop and a truck wash here too, so they get everything all washed up. Alright, so I guess that's about it. We're loaded, gonna head on back out. First drop, Kennewick, Washington. It's about uh, 2,000 miles away, so we gotta be there as soon as possible. It's Sunday night, hopefully, we'll be there by about Tuesday early afternoon because we got two drops to get off in Tri Cities. So I guess we better get after it. going on? Yeah. So we're out here just west of uh, Laramie. I-80, Wyoming. Roads are still covered up, blowing snow. I think it's in the 20s right now. 24. 24 degrees. Vente Quattro. Yeah, we got on up over to Laramie Road, started getting ice covered again, stuff like that, just like the other night. Yeah. That was a trip. You're all shitting your pants. Oh, God, I was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, girl? Huh? What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, what's up, bud -hole? What are you doing? Yeah, what's up, turd? So no big. It's a uh, Monday afternoon right now, though. It's about 4 o'clock. 1600 hours we still got a little over 900 miles to go to our first drop in the morning we figure we'll probably be there to Kennewick Washington by about eh, 10 a.m. we keep a good pretty good clip we might make it a little bit before that right, yeah. I mean, we're gonna run straight through the night just do a quick switch out later on you know when I my 10 hours up just quick switch out jam over there so we got Kennewick and Richland tomorrow. Then we got to get over to Lacey, Washington, over on I-5 near uh, Olympia for our third and fourth jobs. Yeah. And what we got Rainier, Seaside, Oregon, and down, to, down to Central Point, yeah. Medford, basically, and then over to Bend and Redmond, Oregon, over in the central part of the state. Then we got to go back up on I-84 and go to La Grande, Oregon, for our last drop. And then we got a backhaul this time, a load of hay we got to pick up over near over near Burley, Idaho. So as soon as we get done with Grand, we got to shag ass all the way back across to Idaho and pick up that load on Friday before they close. It's going to be a fun week. Yeah. And then guess what? This is week eight, baby. Or yeah, week eight. Yeah. One more week after this, and we got two weeks off. All right. Yeah. Go get some business done. Yeah, as far as things are looking, as far as going back to Vegas, we may get empty on our ninth week. Just drag the empty trailer with us down to Vegas real quick. Stay there for a minute. Like maybe till the day after Christmas or something like that. Yeah. And then we have to take back off, come back out to uh, Arthur, go to Champagne and stuff. We gotta get some stuff done. And we gotta get 
get back through Vegas, pick some stuff up. We're going to pick up some tax stuff and whatnot because we haven't been back to Vegas since July. Yeah. So, got to get all that sorted out. It's going to kind of like be a working holiday a little bit. A little bit. A little bit of vacation in there, a little bit of not. Yeah, it'll be pretty much go to my folks' house for a couple days and then going to jam back east again and then probably do some hanging out around Champagne or something like that. Yeah. Get some things done. So, good times, good times. January and February to get through and March pretty much. Maybe a little bit of April. Maybe. Got stuck in that blizzard in April. Yeah, that was, it was tapering off. Yeah. And admittedly, outside of being in Rapid City last week, this hasn't been anything we couldn't deal with yet. Yeah. So, haven't been too bad yet. Of course, January is the worst. So, see what happens when we come back from vacay. That'll be fun come back we're gonna pick up our pick up a load again on January 3rd that's gonna be our load when we come back from time off so all right good times yep. guess we'll check back yep. all this blowing snow <laughs> gotta love Wyoming yeah, yeah. yeah at least we're loaded this time oh yeah if we we're empty right now we'd be all over the place Sign says slick spots. Blowing snow, turn off cruise control, 40 plus mile an hour winds. Yeah, if you weren't loaded right now, you'd be hurting a little bit. Yeah. Especially to be a little bit slippery. Yeah, it's slick. So Alright, good times. Yep. We're out. out. Mm -hmm. What's up? So where are we? Eden, Idaho. Eden, Idaho. Near uh, Burley and southeastern Idaho, just off the uh, 84. We're here at this... Uh... Hey. Hey. <laughs> hay place. We've got to pick up a load of hay. Apparently it's like compacted palletized hay. You can see like this dude's load right here. I guess since uh, hay protect production in Illinois is Pretty much tapered, off for tapered off for the season, they got hay here though. It's good hay. They like this alfalfa hay or whatever the hell it is or something, <laughs> right? Yeah. So. All it means is we don't gotta go back empty. Yeah, I pulled on the scale, did an empty weight, and then uh, checked in and just waiting for the call now at least we're going back loaded of course you can see the skies right now there are some snowflakes coming down it's a little bit of mix right now but where's that weather map that I think we're gonna be pretty much screwed by the time we get down to Salt Lake or maybe over by Evanston Wyoming they're expecting a couple feet of snow in Evanston apparently so <laughs> I have, I have a feeling we're getting shut down somewhere. Just, just a hunch, based on experience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. It's taking its time loading. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> trying to load the weather map real quick. Right, folks. What are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. So anyway, yeah, just uh, sitting here chilling for a little bit though. 
Oh, get this loaded up and get it on the road and see if we can get back to Illinois in decent time if we don't get shut down. Well, they just don't want to come up, huh? Yeah. Ugh. But yeah. There we go. Now it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so you can see the little, the little flag right there where we are right now. And here's Evanston right there. Yeah, and Evanston's like right over here. We gotta cut down to Salt Lake and go up. Yeah, cause here's the 80. It's just all bad. It's all bad. It's all freaking bad. <laughs> yeah, Evanston looking like it's gonna get hammered. Like well, if we soon. even make it that far, cause yeah, if we even make it that far, we got. Because here's Ogden. Yeah, you can see Ogden and Salt Lake. It's just. Yeah, you gotta you gotta cut through down here. And I looked at this little town, Morgan, that goes like oh, right across the 84. The, across the 84, and we're expecting five to nine inches, and that warn their warning is till five o'clock Saturday after evening. So. Yeah, 5 p.m. on Saturday when the warnings until so good times yeah. guess we'll check out on that see if we can get some more uh shut down in the snow video for the yeah. <coughs> yeah it sucks didn't even shoot any video of our drops all week stink man yeah yeah they stink yeah you. <laughs> dork <I know. laughs> so what do you guys say uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and keep it between the ditches. All right. All right. Out. <laughs> With turquoise and real diamonds.